Hello and welcome to a tutorial. Today I will be teaching you how to uh, draw and build a giraffe in Fusion 360. First of all, you create a sketch and draw it on any plane, it doesn't matter. And then what you do is you create, uh, you create a rectangle that is 110, uh, so you go 10 and then you press tab and then you press 10 again, so that's 10 by 10. And then there we go. So this is going to be the body of the giraffe, so you press extrude up here and we're going to make this go 30 along. Um, actually, uh, 36, so let's make it 36. Then you press enter and here we go. Okay, next we are going to uh, build the neck, so create new sketch and press on the top of it. Um, so now we're going to make a circle on the in on the middle line, and it's going to be five wide. And then we're going to sketch dimension. Click on here, click on the home, and click up here. And this is also going to be five. And we press finish sketch, press extrude, click on the circle. And then what we're going to do is extrude it up. Let's see how far it should go. I think 40 will be right. Let's press enter. Okay, so the draft is really coming together as I'm sure you can tell. Okay, now let's build a head. So what we need to do is create a new sketch and put a sketch on top of that thing. And then what we're going to do is um, we're going to click on the middle of the circle and go out um, 15. And then we are going to click on here and go out 5. And then go to the right 20. Then go down 10. Then go to the left all the way. And basically turn it into a rectangle. And then what we go is modify trim. You can also press T and just get rid of this middle line. Then finish sketch. Oh, I, I, um, I seem to have missed one of the things. So... I'm going to go back into the sketch, draw a quick little line and finish the sketch. Now I'm going to press extrude and uh, type in 10. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it seems like there's a hole in the top of my giraffe. Um, but that's okay if we go to here and we press on this extrude. Um, we can just do it to 10. That, that'll that be fine. Okay, now we're going to um, create um, a nose. So if you haven't seen a giraffe's nose, it's kind of pointy. So what we're going to do is do a... F uh, we're going to press modify and do a chamfer and click on this top edge and we're just going to drag it down to about there. Then we press enter. And then we do another chamfer on the bottom. We just do it up one. So two millimeters there. And this is looking really, really good and close to a giraffe now. Okay, now we create a new sketch and press on the side of the giraffe's head. We're going to create a circle uh, around about there. It doesn't really matter how big it is. And we're just going to make sure it's in the right place. This is going to be the eye. What we're going to do is we're going to extrude it just all the way through. You can just drag it further out. So now that we have the giraffe head, what we can do is press fill it and press on every little edge on the giraffe just to make it all rounded, you know, because giraffes in real life don't actually have that square of heads, would you believe it? Okay, so let's just start dragging and... Okay, so that's the only one we can do. Okay, now let's go down to the bottom. Um, let's start with a fillet and click on here and just dr drag it to about there. That's a better shape for the body. Um, and then we can also fill at the sides and the front and the back uh, just a bit. Just to give the giraffe a bit of shape. Okay, now what we're going to do is create the legs. Uh, Giraffe legs are very intricate, as I'm sure you know. So how they work is... Oh, where's the... How they work is you draw 5mm wide circles. Okay. 
Now we're going to press finish sketch. Sorry, that was a bit more convoluted than it should be. We press extrude and let's extrude all of the legs negative 10. That's pretty accurate uh, leg length for giraffes, I'd say. Now what we do is we fill at the bottom of the feet. We're being very intricate here. We're going to do 0 0.5. And now uh, one last thing to fill it. Um, just all these edges along here. Let's give it a drag. There we go. Let's go one. And now we have to fill it this section. Just a lot of filleting. Oh, you can't fill it there. Never mind about filleting that. So the last step of building the giraffe is drawing a tail. So as you know, giraffe tails are always very erect. So what you need to do is just draw a little circle in the middle. and It's reasonably close to the center, so that's good enough. And then you just press extrude and just drag it out to whatever suits you. I'm going to go for 19. That seems about right. So there you go. Um, if you didn't know, giraffe tails are actually quite sharp, so we don't need to fill it that one. Okay, now if we press A, we'll go to the Appearance tab uh, here. So uh, let's put an appearance on this giraffe. So as you all know, giraffes are made out of leather. So let's go here, and they're normally a brownish color. So let's try and find something like that. Generic leather, let's go for that. This doesn't seem to want to be generic leather. I seem to have to download this. Give me a second. There we go. So this is a completed uh, giraffe. So thanks for watching and join me in my next tutorial.